Hey guys, Dragon Sheep here. Just a disclaimer before we begin, these people submitted their characters to me with the knowledge that I was gonna go full Gordon Ramsay on them. In fact, so many people have submitted, it looks like I'm gonna need some help. Hey, Starry! What? Do you have an oven? We literally live in the same house. Do we have an oven? Yes. <laughs> Excellent, cause I'm gonna need your help roasting some OC steak. Yummy. And just remember, the more scalding the insult, the more brain cells I killed thinking it up. The more I care about your character. So when you see me yelling at it, that's just me caring loudly at you all. Let's begin. Good sir, would you mind donating some of your eyes to this fine fellow? He seems to be lacking in that area, among other things. But his name, Nuclear, is fitting as I am using him as fuel to warm up for some OCs actually worth a good roast. Somebody call the Hunger Games. They're missing their announcer. If you ever want to open a can of soda, just put it under this guy and whack him on the head. Watch out, though. His hairdo might want to speak with your manager afterward. This looks like a cookie monster or a dragon. That is some interesting headgear you got there, Frostbite. It must have some practical use. Is it a weapon? Do you spin it? Oh, look! I found your name twin! Hello, other Frostbite! Watch out for your sister, Frosty the Death Helicopter! Get a stabilizer, man. I've seen pride parades with straighter lines than this. Atlas. At last, Atlas. An OC that isn't a hybrid- oh wait, that's the face of a leafwing if I've ever seen one. Bamboozled again. Alas, Atlas. This is the dragon equivalent of toothpaste. Well, I sure hope he's an animus. How else is he managing to stand on those scrawny Q-tip legs without them snapping under all of that designless, colorless, blank space? His design is so boring, his only flair is his nostrils. Recently fired from his job as a sleep paralysis demon, poor Abyss resorted to plastic surgery to fill the void in his life. Wait, that one's actually my character. Wait! This dragon is a fugitive! He is? We need to find him! We're trying, but his design is so generic it matches every other Nightwing in our database! Diabolical. Sahel just called. She wants her horns back. Crocky, mate. You must have come from the land down under with your stance on the ceiling. In fact, I think I've seen your much more attractive cousin, the Huntsman Spider, recently. Tell him die for me! The wings look like those paper fans I would make in fourth grade that the teacher would take away because I was wasting paper. Her design is almost as hard to look at as her name is to pronounce. So, you're worried about this OC being stolen, huh? Would you pay her ransom in the pile of rotting shrimp you must have used to inspire that shade of pink? And speaking of pink, cherry blossom? More like hairy possum, cause she, it's ugly. It, it took me all night to come up with that. Ah, forget you all. I'm hilarious. This OC looks like she was inspired by those triple flavored ice cream buckets you can get, except instead of strawberry flavor, there's banana instead, and banana ruins everything! Banana ruins everything. This OC has more colors than you have brain cells to name her white dust. What kind of a name is that? You might as well have called her cocaine. Still, it would be better for her to be a crackhead than to have a head stuck full of toothpicks like some kind of eyeliner wearing blue raspberry flavored hors d'oeuvre no one wants because it tastes just as bland as every other sparkly little hybrid animus in this roast fest! Y you okay there? I think I need to go breathe. We're coming up on a whole bunch of YouTubers. You need to go warm up. I'll do a few. I've seen traffic cones more aerodynamic than those wings. Seriously, if you're gonna steal someone's OC, don't pick, like, the most popular artist in the fandom. The character pictured is Aurora, who belongs to X the Dragon Reborn X. This nice bumpy color scheme reminds me of those woolly bear caterpillars you find in the summer that sort of just curl up and die while you wait for them to turn into butterflies. Guess that's what happened to this guy, because he never got his wings. This is what happens when you try to out Pizza the Hut. Do you want some fries to go with all that ketchup? Are you sure you don't want to just throw some Night Fury into your gene pool as well? Don't worry, people start losing track after you hit the tri-breed status. And the tail needs an explanation. Do you know what else is named Dart? Don't worry, you'll find out. You have a ton of them crawling all over you after all. Fritos suck! They're the worst snack at parties ever and I will always choose potato chips over them and nothing can change my mind. They are too salty! You're too salty. Ah, welcome back you Frito-loving heathen. Are you ready? Bring it on. You know that nasty black and yellow snow that builds up over parking lots during the winter? Well, someone took a look at this and said, Hey, I could make a Durgan out of this. Yes, I could. Ta-da! And then this OC couldn't stand to look at her pea snow self, so she forced flowers to grow out of her frickin' eyes from sheer force of will. I just made your character a backstory for free. You're welcome. And now introducing the classic edgy middle school OC starter pack. Lovingly prepared with two nutritious Eli mints, a healthy dose of hair as if someone dug a flamingo feather bow out of the garbage can and glued it to her spine, and buy one today and we'll even throw in... An evil alternate personality. Very good source of fiber as she's basically a cardboard cutout. But there's a backstory for her somewhere between all that Lion King flavored angst. 
This dragon looks like she fell out of Hot Topic and hit every rack on the way down. Where are her eyes? Is that it? Or is it that well of sorry slanted sea green stew streaming shameless slanders on sands? Alliterations are awesome. Someone help this poor dragon! She's drowning in dippin' dots with colors that can only be seen by bees and art students! And worse yet, she can't eat a single one! Look at how skinny she's become! Better resort to eating some of that fur, Twilight Sparkle. You've got enough to clog the vacuum cleaner I'm using for my eyes after prolonged exposure to this drawing. What is this? What is this? That's not what a sheep face is supposed to look like! Imagine if they had their mouths and stuff on the front like that! This is just someone blending up random body parts and a couple of carrots and then stabbing them all into a cotton ball like some lazily drawn solicide demented snowman! Somebody point me in the direction of the creator of this anatomical disaster so I can slap him. Sheepy, I think that's you. Oh. I guess we're done now? We're done. And now a moment of silence for those whose OCs weren't chosen. We are roasting you in spirit.